Welcome to the fifth annual Normal to be Fit Expo and Education Day Virtual Edition. My name is Tina Chandler Ducena. And I'm Carl Ducena. We are excited to share with you all that we do with the Normal to be Fit Charitable Foundation and our annual event. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we chose to create this presentation, number one, for everyone's safety, and number two, so that we may share this with so many of you that would not normally attend our event. We see this as a true blessing. Our mission is to make fitness a normal part of life for people living with disabilities and injuries for a better quality of life. We offer free classes on a weekly basis and now virtually for everyone enrolled in our program. Exercise can be done by everyone. It just may look a little differently, but it is still possible. Before we go into this year's presentation, we would like to tell you how all of this got started. Here's a brief background from the beginning. My background as a top pro bodybuilder has helped me understand how to train a spectrum of different bodies. I competed on the world stage multiple times and placed eighth in the world at my best. I trained myself through injuries and learned how to adapt exercises in order to continue competing, working out, and staying healthy. And then I came along. Born and raised in New York City with big dreams. I'm an actor and I love to play roles for police officers. Oh, stop, stop. Ralph, where did you put my donut? I'm also a producer and motivational speaker who just wants to shine brightly and help others to do the same. I've always wanted to make a positive impact in this world and when Tina and I got together, it's exactly what we did. And so, for lifting athletes from all walks of life, Tina Chandler and Carl Ducena are our New Yorkers of the Week. Then, one day, a gentleman by the name of Wade McCray Washington approached Tina. <laughs> Next thing I know, Tina's on the computer every morning, Googling, researching cerebral palsy, scoliosis. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, I'm going to do it. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, I'm going to train Wade. I started working out in the gym with her three days a week at first. Then, then we got it done. I'm a bodybuilder now. After Wade won that first bodybuilding show, BJ, she came up to Tina and said, Tina, I'm going to allow you to train me. And I know the second year, I had lost so much weight. And now, it's like no stop me now. My company called Normal To Be Fit started a nonprofit arm. And what we do is we volunteer free of charge service for anything and everything in the gym. I'm volunteering with Normal To Be Fit, doing what I can do. I'm spreading the awareness out for cerebral palsy and scoliosis and other disabilities. Working with Wade and BJ opened our eyes to the needs of our community of people with disabilities. Hence, the Norma To Be Fit Expo and Education Day was created to bring about more awareness. We have witnessed that exercise is essential for this part of society and decided to create a day of empowerment. A day of opportunity to try something new and find new ways to work out and stay healthy. That's right. We offer classes of all types that range from nutrition, yoga, weight training, you name it, we offer it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> In the beginning, Tina actually taught every single class we had outlined for the day. Tina's passion for education and empowerment is incredible and the opportunity to help more people grew as each year passed. As the event succeeded, it was recognized as the normal to be fit day in the city of Houston, Texas. That was former city of Houston council member Jack Christie doing 65 push-ups on his 65th birthday. Where's the founders of normal to be fit are Tina Chandler and Carl DeSena. By the third year, we welcomed more vendors and supporters as they enjoyed the crowds and the energy. We expanded our schedule with multiple classes happening throughout the day for everyone to experience. 
we also added an exciting element where the Houston Fire Department and the Houston Police Department competed head to head in an obstacle course fitness challenge for bragging rights and the trophy to hold for the year. Each year, our obstacle course has changed and grown exponentially as the crowds grew and our network strengthened. Volunteers and board members have helped us grow and this is our fifth year to offer this event to the community. This year, due to the pandemic, we created a virtual competition that could be performed in separate places in order to keep everyone and our team players safe. Yep. Please enjoy our program as we share with you all the wonderful things our Normal To Be Fit Charitable Foundation does and has been up to this year. And enjoy our exciting competition as well. This is Mayor Sylvester Turner. I want to commend Carl DeSanta, Tina Chandler DeSanta, and the entire team at Normal To Be Fit at Charitable Foundation for their continued community service. This year, the Normal To Be Fit Charitable Foundation is celebrating their fifth anniversary by hosting their annual Normal To Be Fit Expo and Education Day event. This event helps bring people with disabilities, local businesses, and even local governments and agencies such as the Houston Police Department and the Houston Fire Department together. It is an incredible platform for everyone to unite through health, fitness, education, friendly competition, and fun. I am proud of the work called DeSena, Tina Chandler DeSena, and the Normal To Be Fit Charitable Foundation does to ensure our city is inclusive. I stand behind their message of, it is normal to be fit, no matter what challenges you face. Williams. So um, I was born with a vitamin D deficiency called rickets and that's where the bones do not absorb vitamin D. So I was on a lot of supplements as a child but I had to wear braces on my legs until I was five years old just basically to help me to walk. I was one of the Shriners kids and um, after the five years of the braces, I was okay. Um, and it was, I had no problems. And then years later, after I began to have children, I, the vitamin deficiency became to, began to come back because my children were taking the nutrients from my bones. And so my bones became brittle. Um, and I have, three sons and a daughter. So that's a lot of vitamin D to, to take away. I used to be five feet tall. And with that, scoliosis, uh, scoliosis is where it's a curvature of the spine. Well, my curvature is so obscure that I'm four six now. It was when I met Tina and the passion and compassion about Norma to be fit and how we take care of ourselves. 
and I talked to Tina and she said okay but you got to talk to your doctor and I talked to my doctor and my doctor said yes and after which which is so crazy I went into the hospital for my breathing and who comes to visit me Tina <laughs> Tina comes to visit me and um, I have physical therapy there I have occupational therapy there and this was on a Saturday my therapist had my exercises taped to the wall and as we visited she just looked over to the wall and she goes well have you done your exercises for today and I'm like no well let's get on it <laughs> and we exercise right there in the hospital and after that it's been amazing I, I can truly tell the difference in my body I'm able to do things that I was not able to do before um, but I think I began to take it more serious but after working out uh, Tina is so compassionate she did exercises to help me with my breathing and I am no longer on the oxygen I don't use it anymore and then I have a, another machine that I use in case I have any issues. But I don't even have to use that as much as anymore. So, guys, join Normal to be fit. Hi, my name is Ann Dykes. I'm a board member and secretary for the Normal to be fit Charitable Foundation. What I love about this foundation is the mission to use exercise as a normal part of life for individuals living with disabilities and injuries to promote a better quality of life. It has been heartwarming to witness the hard work and success each one of these individuals puts into using exercise as a treatment modality. Come join us as we continue on this endeavor to promote fitness no matter what challenges they are facing. This time period has been hard on everyone, but our participants who live with their different challenges have had it worse. Working out at home has become one of our only options to staying healthy and strong as a society. Able bodies like ourselves are capable of doing exercises like squats or push-ups without assistance or equipment. However, this can be extremely difficult and just about impossible for anyone with a physical challenge or disability. Yeah, that's so true. So Tina came up with the incredible idea of us creating these home workout kits where we provide different type of workout materials that help assist our participants at home so that they can carry out their regular workout routine. Yeah, as an organization, we decided this would be the best use of the donations we had received at this point. In total, each workout bag costs approximately $100. They contain all sorts of workout equipment like bands, an exercise ball, a timer, even a t-shirt and mask. We assembled these bags and then we suited up, masked up, gloved up, and set out to personally deliver them to their homes. You should see how some of the responses were. It was like Christmas had come early. We were able to deliver at least 16 kits. I specifically chose yellow for Barbara Romero, who has spina bifida, and we were about to deliver this bag to her. Uh, so here is your bag. <laughs> Rolling perfect. Get that done, and what we'll do is we'll get <laughs> Sweetie, what just happened just now? Do you want to talk about it right now? We're just um, delivering these home kits and just to see some of some of these people have been so motivated and now to see their spirits have been so dampened because of this time period. It just breaks my heart and I just want to do everything I can to lift them up back to who they are. You are. So many of them were so happy that we made the kits showed it online that we're bringing it to them and we brought it to them today. Sergio, did you see that? It brings such a joy to the faces to be able to have a sense of normalcy 
uh, for them to continue the fitness program. Yeah. Yes. Look at her dude. Look at her dude. All right. Lori, we finally get to bring this to you. <laughs> Bands and materials so that she can work out. She can even work out in her bed just like this and start working on her strength. This is your gym for now. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we have the exercise ball right here. We're going to inflate it. Hi, thank you for watching our presentation today. My name is Sergio Beretta, and I am honored to be serving at Treasure for No More To Be Bit Charitable Foundation. We continue to serve our community even through these unprecedented times that we are currently living. We all have been affected by the ongoing pandemic. And the challenges we face today is a glimpse of the challenges faced by people with disabilities on a daily basis. Our foundation continues its missions by providing exercise programs in a virtual way to those living with disabilities and or injuries. I invite you to visit our website, www.normaltobefit.com to learn more about how you can get involved. Once again, thank you and enjoy the rest of this program. We believe in keeping everyone safe. It's time for the very exciting competition that we have been talking to you about. You'll notice that in the beginning of this segment that both the Houston Police Department, the Houston Fire Department, and all of us involved had on masks and followed the guidelines of safety protocols. We are also happy to announce that no one during or after the competition got sick or was affected by the virus. That's right. And as an organization, we truly care about our community, especially for our first responders who take care of us. Exactly. Now, please watch as you see both the police departments and the fire department battle it out for our fifth annual Normal To Be Fit <laughs> Expo and Education yes. Day virtual competition. Yes, but first, let me tell y'all how this year's competition was designed. This year, we created a battle that could be performed separately and competed for best time. Both teams were given seven fitness challenges where they were timed for each performance. For example, the push-up challenge. All five members of each team were required to do 25 push-ups. Relay style, where one person started and finished, then the next person began their 25, and by the time they finished, and so on and so on, until all five members have completed their push-ups. All seven events were performed separately, and then the times were added to find the winner with the lowest time. I've got to tell you guys, competing for time may be more exciting than the head-to-head -head competition. I don't know. Maybe you can be the judge. And by the way, also, it's our fifth year anniversary, and all the exercises were done in multiples of five. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So we had the honor of hosting the event on location at the Houston Police Academy and at the Houston Fire Training Academy. And this was such an amazing experience and what a great way to make sure that everyone stayed home and safe or better yet, at their work home. Right. <laughs> now, shall we get on with it, Tina? Yes, bring it on. Also, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, it has become a tradition that I always cheer on the police department because I play an NYPD officer on TV V and Tina cheers on the fire department. We are always on the opposing teams for the big tug of war. That's Ooh, right. Yeah. Let's go. Seven, five, five. Here, right. yes. 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 My name is Bradley Moorfield. I'm a lieutenant with the Houston Police Department. I've been on the police department for 22 years. So what we do is we take civilians who have applied to the Houston Police Department and we put them through about a 28 week training program and we run a paramilitary training program. They attend uh, about 1,100 hours of training during those 28 weeks. And at the end of that, they're ready to hit the street. Uh, 
happy being about knowing to be fit. This is the fifth year and our third year being involved in the competition. Uh, this year is special because everything is uh, virtual and even during COVID, it doesn't stop anything. We're still gonna keep going on, we'll get our times measured and then we'll determine the winner after that. But the main purpose of this is the service to the community and we're gonna give that no matter what. First challenge, we do the push-up challenge. Let's do it. Let's, Let's get do it. it. Let's right. get it. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Yes. Five, yes. Eight. Five, 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 24, 25, 25. Yeah. 1, there you go. Competition, this is the farmer's carry. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. Keep that balance. There you go. There you go. It's right there. Hi, it's Chief A. Savito. Three years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting the founders of the Normal to Be Fit Charitable Foundation, Carl Ducina, an actor and motivational speaker, and Tina Chandler Ducina, a four-time Miss Olympia bodybuilder, who is also a trainer whose specialty is in working with those with disabilities. We discussed HPD officers and HFD firefighters participating in friendly competition. So for the past three years, HPD and HFD have been very competitive in the obstacle courses and, of course, the tug of war. Overall, the Normal to Be Fit Expo specializes in the fitness and well-being of each participant, regardless of the person's physical challenges. This gives HPD another opportunity to display the importance of relational policing. HPD personnel also assist in teaching classes such as karate, as well as attend classes that teach the value of nutrition and fitness. We appreciate Westgrave Multi-Service Center staff for allowing the event to be hosted at their facility in the past. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we're not able to come together in a mass gathering this year. So this year, HPD will be running the obstacle courses at our training academy, and HFD will be running the obstacle courses at their training facility. The event will air on the day of the expo in 2020. I would like to thank all of our HPD participants. Good luck, now bring home the trophy, and a huge thank you to Carl Ducina and Tina Chandler Ducina of the Normal to Be Fit for their absolute support and for holding this event. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Amelia to talk about her story and the changes our program has made for her. Amelia is visually impaired and almost completely blind, but she hasn't always been. What I have found to be so amazing is how Tina has learned how to describe the exercises in such detail that someone who can't actually see the demonstration can still understand how to do the exercises. Here is Amelia Brinkley's story. I just think this is an awesome program for anybody that's blind, deaf, in the wheelchair. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's what I have is rectitis pigmentosa, it started when I was, uh, I want to say around 19. Every, every year I get older, the worse my vision becomes. And it's like a tunnel vision. So I see things in front of me, but not on the side of me. But I think the doctors have it reversed. I can see on the side of me, but not in front of me. So the older I get, the worse my vision is. Right now I can still see a little bit, but depending on the light is whether I can see clearly or not. Like, okay, at nighttime, I can see the cars with the headlights and the, the light on the lamp pole and stuff like that. But if a person was standing in front of me, I wouldn't know they are there. I would feel that they were there like, I can't explain that part. Like you could tell when something is in front of you. I can tell that, but as of physically seeing you with my eyes, mm -hmm. I would be, it would feel totally blind to me. And when COVID-19 hit, 
nothing was open. No start coming up with the classes online. What I like about the classes on Wednesday, you can see me and you make sure that I'm doing the, the exercises right. You make sure that I don't slack off. And I think that's motivation to me. What Tina does, because I am visually impaired, I can't see her. So she has to describe the moves and what I need to do in order to do the position. Now, if I have never seen that squat, how would I know? So what she, she describes where I need to place my feet, if they need to be uh, shoulder width apart or... Um, if my back needs to be straight, she describes everything in, in detail for the visually impaired. My self-esteem is up there times 10. Word. And, um, I just, I, I think it's just awesome. I mean, I like it. Hi, my name is Dr. Barbara Stegman, and I'm one of the board members for the Normal to be Fit Charitable Foundation. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today as we strive to fulfill our mission of providing the disabled community with the support and tools they need to lead a normal to be fit life. Tina Chandler, our CEO and founder, has developed an amazing, innovative, and adaptive program that can be used by anyone with a disability and the desire to improve their overall health and wellness. I have seen the impact of this kind of a program in the community as I've seen individuals gain independence, improve overall health, and basically have a better lifestyle. But this program is only possible through the support of the community. I invite you to join us as we reach out to each individual with, an, with a disability to provide the help that they need to overcome their challenges. Thank you so much and please enjoy the program. Shifting our services to the virtual atmosphere was not easy at first. In the beginning, I could barely get anyone to respond to my calls or texts. I just don't think we were used to texting or calling each other. We were used to showing up in person every week at West Gray. I tried to figure out what would work and went from there. We started with Facebook Messenger video chat and eventually made it to Zoom video conferencing platform. We have had a mixture of different participants. Some of our regular participants joined right away and some still have not. But the most positive thing that has come out of this is that we have had some people participate from a distance that would never have been able to attend our classes here in Houston. We have had people from all over the world show interest in our program. We recently had someone from South Africa join. Once we got everyone working out again, it was almost like being in the gym together. Seeing their smiles, really made our day and we noticed it made a difference for them as well. Here are a few clips from our online adaptive training class. This is not about that old saying, no pain, no gain. This is not that kind of class, okay? No, I do not play that. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? You're holding the your forehead. Yeah. Well, my leg hurts, but it's okay. Well, okay, well, these are the things that I will want to hear about so that I can help you today and see if there are some exercises that can maybe improve a little bit of your pain or activate parts. I hope, I hope so. Okay. All right. So the, the class is, um, you know, we all come together uh, and it's a very specific type of, it's not like a class where we all do the same things. So you'll hear me telling mm -hmm. individual um, Amelia, you want to start with push-ups. Let's have you start with three sets of push-ups today. And then I'll go to each person, especially a lot of people that have already been in class with us. Um, you know, they kind of know what to do. So we'll get all of that started. And then um, 
I'll specifically talk with you about some things that you'd like to work on and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Okay. How much have you lost already, Lori? 21 pounds. She's lost 21 oh, pounds. Oh, yes. Amazing, yo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. 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 New butts and guts today. Butts and guts. Okay. So how about we start with leg raises and pelvic lifts? Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we won't do any any pushes like that, but all the rows are good for that. If you do that in the lat pull downs, but let's start with the rows since you've got your hooks on now. Yes, yes. Okay. Be, be easy on yourself, but it's a good exercise to help make it feel a little better. Mm -hmm. Almost, uh, one second. Okay, that's two minutes. Good. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, I think you can do some shrugs, Barbara. And and when I was coaching Wade, I would get him to get his body to do it. And I said, just say to yourself, I don't know. I remember. I don't know. Hi, my name is Gina Corrigan, and I'm the VP of Operations for Normal TB Fit Charitable Foundation. Please go to our website, www.normaltobefit.com, and click on Join the Movement. Find out ways to get involved, volunteer, and many, many ways so that we can help our community. Also, go to our foundation page where you can read about our mission and our purpose and all of the service in the community that we are a part of. It's time again for the next part of our big competition. Yes. All right, look. Since it's our fifth anniversary, and as Tina said earlier, all challenges are done in multiples of five. five. <laughs> Here, you're going to see some really close competition. That's right. Here, we're going to see the side plank challenge, the burpee challenge, and the pull-up challenge. Yes. Now listen, 25 side planks are hard. 25 burpees are even harder, but 15 pull-ups with the chin over the bar and no kipping, I'm just saying, yeah. it, things got so crazy and stressful at times. Oh my God, <laughs> absolutely, look, yes. It was crazy and suspenseful. All right, competing for time really was exciting. Yes. We just wish that you guys could have been there with us, but at least we can show you now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please enjoy watching as the battle continues. I'm so excited to be able to congratulate Carl and Tina 
for the wonderful work that they're doing, the inspirational work that you're doing, Normal to be Fit. What an unselfish, compassionate mission to insist that everyone have the opportunity to be fit. And what amazing work you're doing with Michael Walker and your production efforts. But the most important thing is that you're helping children who are physically challenged to be at their very best. Thank you for being with us here in Houston. And so congratulations to you all. Congratulations for your continued compassion and the inspiration that you give and also the opportunity for brightening the minds and opening the doors of opportunity and education. Congratulations again. I'm Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and I salute you for your outstanding work. Later in this segment, you will see bits of a class we started doing on Facebook Live that is free for everyone to join. It's a 30 minute workout that we do once a week to help everyone at home stay healthy and just keep moving. Yeah. We explain how to adapt all the movements for anyone that has a physical challenge or an injury. And what's so cool is that our next story coming up was a direct result of this Facebook Live class. And it actually was. One day after we got the class started, I began inviting people on what's called a watch party on Facebook. Charlotte Catherine Chandler was one of the people that I invited, and she was one of the ones that also joined. As she listened to Tina and the way that Tina explains how to work out, Charlotte said that for the first time in her life, she feels like this can actually be true, that she can really begin working out. Yeah. Charlotte sent a message to me explaining that she had been diagnosed with RSD a rare nerve disease that causes excruciating pain so much that she had a morphine pump implant to help manage her pain. Man. She said her pain had kept her from so many things in life, of course, including working out. Charlotte and I got on Zoom together and I helped customize a workout for her. That's right. This next video that you're about to watch begins with that workout as well as another workout that Tina did when Charlotte received her normal to be fit workout bag. Charlotte's story is one of the most inspiring ones for us because we can say this is something positive that came out of this time period during the pandemic. That's right. Charlotte has had amazing results and says it has been helping alleviate her pain. Here's her story. I was watching those videos of some of those people and I'm thinking if they can do this, I can do it. I don't have any strength in my arms. Okay. And in and in my legs. Yeah. And my lower back. And that's what I want to do. I want to strengthen all this back up because I used to now I walk with a cane. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be able to start moving and, and doing things again. They're not doing that. Yeah. Do yeah. I have it yet? <laughs> perfect, perfect. It's a lot for me because, like I said, I have I just gave up on exercise. I quit doing everything, and I know long time. And my body started going downhill from there. So I definitely need that. Oh, and I was going to tell you, probably show you. I don't have as much slab. I'm get, I feel myself getting stronger, and now with all this equipment, there is no way that I can fail. This oh is my gosh. thing out. When I got this and I was going through everything, I was crying because I did not imagine it would be this much. And with you working with me today, I can tell a difference. Having the equipment makes a lot of difference. It's just the beginning. I know, it's just beginning. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm feeling so much better. Good. I feel like I'm on my life back. Thank you. My name is Sam Pena, Fire Chief for the City of Houston, and I'm proud of my friendship and proud to support Carl Ducena and Tina Channer Ducena and the entire Normal to Be Fit Charitable Foundation for their continued community service. I want to congratulate Normal to Be Fit for five years of impacting our community in a positive way. Their annual Normal to Be Fit Expo and Education Day helps bring all parts of our community together. People with disabilities, local businesses, along with agencies such as the Houston Fire Department and the Houston Police Department. It's, it's, it's an incredible platform for everyone to unite through health, fitness, education, friendly competition, and fun. 
It really is an opportunity like any other. It is for these reasons that I support and endorse the work that Normal to Be Fit Charitable Foundation does to build stronger futures together for inclusion and empowerment. I stand behind their message. It is normal to be fit, no matter what your challenges. Okay, at this point, each team has completed six out of seven challenges, and that leaves just one more left the five lap relay, yes. where each team member had to run one lap around the track or 400 yards. You will see that the police academy has a track, but it wasn't built to the standard as most tracks. You know what, it absolutely wasn't. All right, look, so we had to measure out 400 yards where each police member would run one way and then the opposite way in order to hand off the baton to the next person. It might look a little weird, so we thought we would explain it to you. Exactly, they're running back and forth yeah. on the same 400 yards. And listen, as competitive as both teams are from year to year, we had to make sure things were legitimate, fair, and everything was even. Both teams were required to follow the exact same rules and were held accountable. It was very exciting watching both teams as they had strengths in different areas, but they all gave it their all across the board. All right, so check this out. Can you tell who's gonna be the winner and take home that trophy? <laughs> All right, so let's watch and see the final challenge play out and we'll congratulate the winner. Yes. And so what what is this class doing right here? This is like a dead class today. We're working on ground by the track. Oh, that's the burn building right Which there. Which one? This one right here. Whoa. This is the burn building. And so what exactly do they do here, Chief? Do you mind? In here? Burn. <laughs> what, <laughs> this is where we teach them. We teach them fire dynamics and how to uh, do search and rescue and uh, various other types of uh, uh, fire attacks. Chief, you're an instructor here, right? Yes. I'm the administrative chief over the academy. Administrative chief over the academy. How often do you have classes going through? We have class going on right now. Nice. And we have another one that starts on Monday. Oh, that's excellent. How long do they last? Um, about six months. Six they have to go months. through EMT school and fire school. That's hey, hey, you guys are good. Continue on. What are you doing? This is part of the training for the fire department, right, Tina? Yeah, it's incredible. It's a school bus that crashed into a car. Wow. <laughs> They're trained for everything. Yeah, they every are. situation. Yes, they are. Big shout out to the Houston Fire Department. Hi, Tina. Hey, Carl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abby Cortez with the Houston Fire Department, a community liaison and firefighter. Um, I've been part of the team for a few years and working with Normal to be Fit for three years now, and I think it's a great cause. I love the fact that we promote fitness and health, especially with being firefighters. And it's always Normal to be Fit, no matter what level of fitness you have. So these events are awesome. Yes, my name is Al Bennett. I'm also a community liaison with the Houston Fire Department. I just want to let people know that this is a great opportunity to showcase what we do and how we do it. It has been a wonder working with Carl and Tina for the last five years. Um, this event has grown exponentially. I anticipate it growing even more. So I want to challenge all the firefighters and all the police officers to become a part of this normal to be fit day. Because as you see, it is always, always normal to be fit. Fifth year anniversary. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 All right. We're almost yeah. done. Okay. We're almost done. I'm holding here our uh, baton for the day. It is a Corona hand sanitizer. It's about the size of a Lysol bottle. That is our yeah. choice for the baton. Oh. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there you go. 
All right, Carl, I think that's it. All seven challenges are completed and it is time to finally show everyone who the winner is. Yes. You know, this year was really different. I mean, usually we get to see who the winner is right then and there, but this year we competed, we performed, and then had to wait, then we tallied up scores. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it was just a little different. Look, it, it was absolutely different. And look, we're used to a live event. It's live, bam, then you find out what happened. But what happened this year, it was totally different because of the fact that we had all this excitement, everything was going on, and then after that we had to wait. And then we weren't even 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 able to let the cat out the bag. Exactly. <laughs> the exactly. <laughs> and we had to tally the scores. Yeah. Then we had to keep it secret, you know, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But we did it. You know, we yeah. kept it secret until the very end, up until the end before we filmed this next video mm -hmm. congratulating the winners yes. and honoring them with the trophy that they will keep for the year. That's absolutely right. But first, we really want to thank the Houston Fire Department and the Houston Police Bravo. Department Bravo. for their generous involvement with our event each year. Every single year. You, you know, know what I mean? And, oh, and, for, so, and for helping us further our mission. Yeah, you know what? Big shout out, big thank you to Fire Chief Sam Pena, Police Chief Art Acevedo for allowing their firefighters and police officers just to participate and be a part of what we're doing and for believing in all that Tina and I are doing with people with disabilities in the community. Yes. And also a big thank you to Keith and Melissa Johnson of yes. Future World Custom Framing, number one in the world, <laughs> baby, for providing the trophies, the engraving, the honorary awards, and just for the beautiful proclamations that they give us every single year that brights up the whole room. Yeah, their framing is absolutely beautiful. We love you guys so much. Yeah, we exactly. also want to thank each and every one of the team players for giving it their all and leaving nothing on the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Special thanks go to mm -hmm. firefighter Al Bennett, yep, yep. Abby Cortez, yep. Tyler Coleman, <laughs> and senior police officer Robert oh, Collins oh. for all of their organizing <laughs> efforts and yeah. getting this together this year. There were obstacles and guys, you made it possible. We love and appreciate all of you for your partnership. Most definitely. And look, you know what? I want you to keep in mind that there's a lot more coordinating that we do, or better yet, that we did for this year, but the hard work paid off. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think it's time. Oh. What do you think? Uh, yes. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> this year's winner is... And the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker goes to... You know what, let's have Mayor Turner tell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, normal to be a charitable foundation expo and education day. Our HFD versus HPD obstacle course fitness challenge and Mayor Turner, who is the winner? Well, look, for the obstacle course fitness challenge, the winner for 2020 yes. is the Houston Police Department. <laughs> 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 Good job, guys! Yeah. Yeah. Team Acevedo, you see that? Yeah. Team Acevedo, you see that? You see that, Team Acevedo? <laughs> Very big shout out to Police Chief Art Acevedo. What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? It's Officer Raul Collins. Raul! We also have the SWAT Commander, Larry. Bainbridge. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You see, that's my wife. She got my back. <laughs> we have Marcus. What did you call Marcus? The machine. Oh. The machine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the amazing Aponte. <laughs> Officer Aponte just graduated. Yay. Yay. Also, 
also a big shout out to Officer Khalil Johns, Detective Khalil Johns and Officer Andy Thank Hernandez. You. Listen, we want to thank you for all of the service that you're doing in our community and for keeping us all safe and secure. Yes, I totally agree. Thank you for your service and congratulations on being this year's Normal to be Fit Obstacle Course Fitness Challenge winners, virtual edition, and for breaking the tie. It looks like my fire department has some training to do this year. <laughs> Um, considering how this year has gone, we thought it would be kind of perfect to let our very own Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner help us conclude our program. Absolutely. Such a class act, such a classy gentleman. We are honored to have such great support. And here is one more video from Mayor Sylvester Turner himself regarding all of the things that our Normal to Be Fit Charitable Foundation has been up to and continues to do. Yes. Mayor Turner, take it away. Hi, Mayor Turner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Valentina? Great. You superstar. You. You rock star. Uh, you all have continued to uh, serve people, whether it's a uh, a pandemic or no pandemic, in the midst of civil unrest, you name it, you all have stayed the course, and I can't say enough. Um, I can't appreciate you enough, you know, and, uh, and you do it now. What was that? We missed that part? Yeah. I can't say thank you enough, and you all do it with, you do it with a smile, you've been right there for, for our uh, citizens and the disability community, I mean, you've just... You've just been consistent and reliable. And, uh, and I want you to know that has not gone unnoticed. You, you don't seek the attention or anything, but you do it because it's just in your, in your heart. So I really, I really appreciate you all very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. That means Thank so you. much coming from you. I got something for you. Even though we're not kind of meeting in person, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't stop us from, from at least, you know, acknowledging the hard work that you all have done. And that this, this is a big proclamation for you. Picture Worth Custom Framing made it, and they make it for us every year. And it's the biggest, most elegant, most executive proclamation. They are incredible. This is, this is very nice. And uh, even though we're not in person, uh, the, the meeting and... and um, and all of the things that are cited in here uh, shouldn't be diminished at all. So if you don't mind, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read it. Yes, please. And, uh, and of course, this is a proclamation from the city of Houston to normal to be fit. And the Houston area is wonderfully enriched by dedicated individuals whose compassion and selfishness have improved the quality of life for so many people. The normal to be fit movement has contributed greatly to many worthwhile causes, championed for change, and continues to be a pillar of the community. Uh, since its founding by proud owners, Carl DeSena and Tina Chandler DeSena, normal to be fit has emphasized its mission to optimize global health and wellness through education of exercise, nutrition, and mindful life balancing practices for a happier and healthier world. And during the COVID-19 health pandemic, Normal To Be Fit has created home workout kits, and I want to thank you for that, while offering free weekly online fitness classes, urging everyone to keep working out and to help build the moral of others, a morale of others during these uncertain times. Their annual Normal to be Fit Expo and Education Day in conjunction, with the, in conjunction with the Houston Fire Department and the Houston Police Department will also be aired virtually uh, in an effort to continue to encourage the community to prioritize their mental and physical health. And on September the 2nd, 2020, 
normal to be fit and be recognized for their tireless uh, contribution to the community and in recognition and appreciation of their dedication and loyal service to the community. And I, and I certainly want to, uh, want to underscore uh, your loyal and dedicated service to the people in this city. Uh, the city of Houston commends and appreciates Norma to be fit for their great compassion. And look, and you all have huge hearts for your great compassion and kindness to so many people and worthwhile endeavors over the years. So therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of City of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim September 2nd, 2020, as normal to be fit day in the city of Houston. Congratulations and thank you both for what you continue to do. God bless you. Thank you. Go ahead. Go thank you for your time. I know. Mayor. God bless you. Thank you for all you're doing. You, Chief Benya, Chief Acevedo, you guys are rock stars in your whole team. Mary, Jeff, your whole team and your bodyguards too. Love all of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you too. Take care. Own the room, okay. Mayor. Own it always. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. That's it. Own the room, baby. Own it. It's normal to be fit. Thank you all for joining us today in celebrating empowerment, perseverance, and ultimate ability by overcoming challenges through fitness. Remember some of these precious stories that we shared with you today and always remember that you can no matter what and we're here to help you. Thank you to everyone who helps us year to year and to everyone who helped in getting this program created. We are thankful to still have a way to share with you all the wonderful things we are doing to impact lives even in the midst of adversity. Contact us and get involved, get fit. It's normal to be fit, no matter what challenges you face. From all of us here at Normal To Be Fit Charitable Foundation, we, we love, love you. you. See you next time.